What's up guys, Turbonic Plague here. We're gonna be hooking up our studio monitors to our subwoofer, to our audio interface, getting that into the computer or whatever, your home studio or your sound system for your theater, whatever it may be. This is probably helpful for all those things. Let's get this thing going and I'll show you guys what you need and how to hook this up and get it properly running when you get your equipment. Hopefully this helps you guys. Stick around and we'll get started. So first thing you're going to need is an audio interface of some kind or something with some outputs on it. Focusrite Scarlet Duo. You got some line outputs right here. It's just quarter inch TRS outputs right and left. This is of course your USB which is going to be what you use to bring sound into this unit. And then this is going to be your outputs that are going to go to your speakers. Here we go. You're going to get your stereo. Stereo is two lines on here and your tip. So that's one cable we're going to go ahead and do this we're going to plug it into the right output and then we're going to go into the right input of the subwoofer you're going to take your next cable and you're going to go into left and then you're going to go into left input on the subwoofer our next step is going to be going from our right output on the subwoofer right there we will call this one our right so we're going to go plug that into the trs on the right speaker and our last cable is going to go from our left output on the subwoofer to the input on the next speaker to recap you are coming from here on your output going to your input on your subwoofer coming from your output on your subwoofer going to the, both speakers so if you have powered speakers of course you're gonna have to plug these in and then power them on you have to have your subwoofer powered on in this case to get sound to run to your speakers so keep that in mind if you have passive speakers really not as powerful you're gonna have minimal wattage for your speakers so they're probably not going to be as loud your passive is going to work the same way but you're going to need something to be able to drive it i don't know you might have to get like a amplifier of some kind or something like that for them but this i found is the easiest route to go all powered speakers and honestly this brand is a decent price and works out well i will say this one thing real quick so when you get this hooked up don't freak out if it doesn't work right away you might have to go into your uh my pc or my accessories if you're on a pc on mac i don't use mac so i can't tell you that um but on PC, you'll have to go into my settings, go to your sound, and then pick the device you want the sound to come from. So in my case, it's gonna be coming from the Scarlett Solo, and it will pop up on your computer to show you as long as you have the drivers installed and everything you need installed. So I do hope this helps you out. I try to make it pretty straightforward and make it to where it's easily understandable and you can follow along easily. If you have to, set it up in the way you like it and then just watch the video and go through it until you have it set up correctly, test it out. Make sure your right sound's coming through your right, your left sound's coming through your left, and your subwoofer's cranking and bouncing and banging the house down, and you should be good to go. Shout out to you, official Subzino, for uh, suggesting this video and and keeping me on my toes how about that i uh, hope this helps you brother let me know if you have any other questions it should be pretty straightforward for you hopefully this helped anybody else too i appreciate you guys watching if you like the video comment like subscribe you guys have a good night Bad